the cause or the, the responsible cause of an action is always the immediate cause and not the remote causes. Uh, the remote causes are one of the remote causes of sin, of course, is Adam's sin by which we become sinners. But the immediate cause of sin is ourselves. It is we who will to sin. Uh, we can, I think the Bible makes it fairly clear that we cannot escape responsibility by saying that uh, we inherited uh, the sin of Adam. In fact, this makes our own sin worse. In the case of David that I referred to a little while ago, David doesn't say, I committed a terrible sin, but after all, I was born in sin and I couldn't help it. What he says was, I committed a horrible sin, and what was worse, I was born that way. Uh, this reference to something more ultimate does not relieve a person of responsibility. If anything, it makes the situation worse. Now this leads to the question that I have here. Why is man held responsible for his sin? And what is your definition of responsibility? I just love definitions, if I can ever get them, <clears throat> because you ought to know what the words mean if you use them. And if you use a word ambiguously, you're sure to become confused. And we ought to define responsibility and what the basis of responsibility is. Now, responsibility, etymologically, and I think philosophically too, means to be answerable. You give an answer to somebody. Uh, this is responsibility. And we are answerable to God because God demands an answer from us. Uh, that is why we are responsible. Now, in addition to this general principle, which uh, governs the rest of the uh, situation, uh, the Bible teaches I believe the Bible teaches that there are degrees of responsibility because the servant who knew his Lord's will and did not do it was beaten with many stripes, but the servant who did not know his will was beaten but not beaten with many stripes. And Jesus in his reply to Pilate said uh, that uh, the people who delivered him had the greater sin than Pilate had. So there are degrees of heinousness in sin. These degrees depend on the degree of knowledge that a person has. The more knowledge a person has, the more responsible he is. And so God uh, assigns degrees of responsibility on the basis of how much a man knows. Uh, no man, uh, as the Bible puts it, is utterly ignorant, though, as I say, some people asymptotically approach it, uh, but no man is absolutely ignorant, and therefore all men are at least minimally responsible. But uh, men in high places and uh, people who have studied are more responsible than other people. It is a great responsibility to be a minister, for example. A minister presumably knows more about the Bible than most other people, and the more you know, the more responsible you are. Now, a responsibility then is, uh, uh, to define it, is to be answerable to a superior power. Now, this also means that although God is the cause of all sin, God is not responsible because there is no higher power to demand an answer of him. Uh, so, responsibility is a characteristic of people to whom divine commandments have been given. But there are no commandments imposed on God by any superior power, for there is no superior power. 
This is briefly my uh, interpretation of responsibility and why a person is responsible for his sin. God decided to uh, hold a man in certain degrees responsible, uh, degrees corresponding to the degrees of his knowledge. Thank you.